Hello everyone, Brandon here, and this is Maui. He's a crested gecko, and I just got him a couple weeks ago for my birthday. So Maui is just a couple months old, and I've been wanting a crested gecko for a very long time. Uh, a couple of years ago, one of my friends uh, got one as a pet, and he let me hold it. It was a ton of fun, and ever since then, I've been wanting one. Uh, so, this ge so crested geckos are from New Caledonia. Uh, this guy is actually very, very... Uh, He's very chill. He he might be a bit stressed out just because he, he doesn't really know what this camera is, but he most of the time he's very chill and very, very handleable. He's actually a lot more handleable than most of my animals that I own. He's even more handleable than our little dog. So this is Maui's enclosure. It's a 12 by 18 by 12 enclosure. Uh, it's It's actually a pretty nice one. I believe that it's, it's either an Exoterra or a Zilla. Uh, it's a Zilla, but an, it's very, very similar to an Exoterra. I believe that it's just a couple of differences like the background or how this opens up. But they're both very good enclosures. This won't last Maui forever, but he's he's only around six months old, so we should be able to get a while out of it before we uh, before he moves up to an 18x18x24 18 by 18 by or whatever else we'll do for him then. But if you look closely, uh, it's not exactly uh, in its final phase right now. So currently it's just a lot of plastic plants and some other things. And if you've looked at my YouTube videos for more than like a minute, then you'll probably realize that I really, really enjoy live plants. There are live plants all over my room. I have ones on land, some in pots, some under water. Hold on, that's a terrible reflection. But if you've looked at my channel before, then you'll probably... No, my love for live plants and bioactivity and just, in general, low-maintenance enclosures for animals. So in the next couple of weeks, you'll probably see me do a full enclosure build for little Maui. Well, he's sitting on the chair from earlier, but he's very, very handleable, and he's a lot of fun. Well, we'll just put him in here. Sometimes he should be going right in here. Yep. But for a lot of this, I'm I'm actually going to keep. So there, camera went out of focus again. But under here, I'm going to be pulling up all this substrate and then reusing it. I'm just going to build a false bottom over here so that the plants can grow a lot better. Uh, I have a lot of leftover supplies from the White's Tree Frogs tank that'll do very well. There's these cool-looking moss vines that I'm actually probably going to keep because they do look pretty cool in here. Uh, and as for the background... Let's move this up. Maui's actually on it right now, but I'm going to cover it in silicone and cocoa fiber and some bark, so it'll look a lot more natural. But I might leave a couple parts open because I do, I do kind of like how it looks. And as as time goes on, when it fades over, when the cocoa fiber begins to degrade, then the rock will show through, and that that might actually look pretty cool. All of the wood in here is plastic. Uh, or at least it's not natural wood, so I might I might uh, pull this all out and put it in like a mini pond or, or do something else with it because it is pretty nice looking. I just want uh, some bark in here. I already have some that I've collected uh, from outside that I'm going to soon be putting in here for Maui to crawl all around. The other cool thing is Maui's food. So this is pretty much a smoothie. That's that's the best way of putting it. Uh, it's it's called rapashi. It's some water and pretty much a fruit powder mixed up that the geckos will eat. Crested geckos are also arboreal, so they live in trees, and that's why this enclosure is vertically oriented, so that he can crawl up and down all over the place. The previous inclo the previous owner for Maui, um, just put the the food dish right on a like a branch or something up high, uh, which which is doing pretty well, but I think I can do something really cool where I can stick it onto the background. I've started to carve this out, which what will happen is the food dish will slide right in here, and this will all be covered in cocoa fiber and carved out. And then it'll kind of like sit on the side like that, but further back. Here's a better angle on how it would look. So Maui would be able to crawl on here and 
lick his food, then jump off for, from wherever. I might also even throw some moss up here just to make it look a bit nicer. Let me know how you think it would look in the comments below. One other really interesting thing about Maui, the crested gecko, is that he really likes to play video games with me, or just do school or whatever. Sometimes um, it'll be in the afternoon and I'm just done with school and exhausted. I'll bring Maui out of his enclosure, we'll play video games. Like, we, we'll do Minecraft, Team Fortress 2, a ton of fun things. Uh, sometimes he'll sit on my shoulder or my headphones. He, he's just a ton of fun, and I hope that everyone else will enjoy him as the channel progresses. So if, you're, uh, if you want more videos of Maui or any of my other animals, please like and subscribe. It does a lot for, the, for uh, my channel. We, we've been gaining a lot of subscribers. We're already up to over 200, um, and we've only been doing this for around uh, six to eight months. So I uh, hope to see you all in the next one, and uh, goodbye.